How many know who this is? Actually, uh, actually, TV Guide sent that over. That's a cover portrait of uh, David Carradine, and it's going to be on the... Uh, I don't think I have the, have the date of when it will be on the cover, but anyway, I <laughs> assume it will be, or they wouldn't send it over. He's the star of the first uh, television series based on a Chinese Western Wild West uh, theme, and I suppose if there are spaghetti westerns, this is the first egg roll western, uh, if you were in a mood to try to do a joke about it. Uh, will you please welcome its star, uh, delightful man and a fine actor, Mr. David Carradine. <laughs> mention the name of the show, but obviously everyone knows that it's Kung Fu. I don't think I said that in the intro. Yeah. Can I help you at all? I just thought I'd take this out of the way here for a minute. Okay. Now you just start talking, and when you can take the pebble from my hand, <laughs> you can stop. Gosh, I'm not much of a talker, I tell you. You not? No, I... Uh... Oh, hey, I'm you gonna done I was watching wait, you wait, do this on the... Wait, 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 I just noticed something. You have a, you have a bum eye. It works pretty good. No? Is it okay? Yeah, go. Oh, okay. With wheels. Yeah, I got the... Uh, oh. Now, what is that? Somebody, uh, you walked into a uh, bamboo curtain? I got bit by a wolf. Now, wait a minute. Wow. Bit by a wolf, indeed. Yeah, what happened to you? Well, what were you doing to the wolf? Well, that's the thing. You know, I was uh, making this movie. Yeah. And there's a thing in it where there's supposed to be this dog fight. And we wanted to use a wolf because yeah. wolves are scarier than dogs, people. And uh, it's really true, all the stuff you've been saying. It's what? It's true, all the stuff you've been saying. We got the wolf yeah. in there in this little pen and everything. And I figured, well, the wolf would get really freaked out by all the people and all, you know. And, yeah. and I'm acting like I'm really fighting the wolf and everything. The wolf won't fight. Yeah. Just wouldn't fight. I had to fight him. I had to actually attack the wolf, mm -hmm. chase him around the ring. And just, I would have to like, really, make a wolf think I was really going to hurt him before he would do anything. Yeah. Well, it confirms what I've been saying. It would have been much easier with a dog. Yeah. There, isn't a, uh, there isn't a documented attack of a wolf on a human being in the history of the northern continent of the I United States. Uh, I believe it. Uh, except, you know, a rabbit animal of any kind, a cat yeah. or what. Well, I, I thought you were going to ask me to grab that from your hand or something. Mm -hmm. do, do you uh, take seriously um, any, of the, any of the oriental philosophy or that we see in Kung Fu? I mean, are you, you should well, pardon the expression, into that? You've got a whole thing here, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the eyeshadow Marlon Brando picked up? No, that's that? okay. Sure. Um, oh, that isn't it. No. Extra long. Um, no, I'm not into, you know, systems. You know, Buddhism is a system, right? Yeah. Um, sure, I, I believe just about all that stuff, except that I don't believe in the, you know, the words of it. Or the... You mean you don't follow the doctrine? Or, oh, yeah, right. That's a good one. The dogma? The dogma, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I translate here for the straight people. Yeah. <laughs> but do you practice any kind of discipline in your life, uh, Zen, uh, Zen of Buddhism, or any um, of those, uh, or yoga, perhaps? Or? No, I don't really practice any anything. I don't. Yeah. I play the guitar a lot, and I, I think. But I guess people naturally want to know how close you are to the character. And uh, yeah, well, you know, pretty close. Um, I'm not making anything up. Uh -huh. You know, uh, words are uh, tend to confuse it. I think. I mean, it's a simpler than it is with the words. The words are, are dressings, you know, like the uh, Chinese temple and all that, is a dressing of, uh, like an explanation, you know? It, it doesn't really need to be explained because it's just something that's there in everybody. If you look straight in, right, everybody looks straight in, we all come to the same place if you go far enough, but you have to go very far. What philosophy are you giving me now? Just it, you know, the, the cosmic uh, note yeah. and all that. You know. Cosmic? Note. Oh. I, mean, I don't know the... Uh, you, you, he used a couple of words that I didn't quite know the meaning of. Like what? Note. Note. Cosmic note. It's like there's a... I, I'm, not a I'm not a skeptic here. I, uh, I'm just an ignorant. But when you play the guitar, instead of doing meditation, you think in terms of sound. Maybe yeah. The cosmic note is like there's a note that's, uh, that if you can hear it, you, uh, you don't have to ask questions. That, that means something to me, but I'm not yeah. sure what. But I mean, I, I have this feeling that I'm susceptible to... Uh, if I, if I ever went into uh, Eastern philosophy or Eastern mysticism, that I would really go all the way. Um, the idea of meditation, the idea of yoga really appeals to me, but something has kept me back from it. I don't know why. Maybe it's a feeling of really being susceptible to Probably it. Probably fear of not being able to get back, something like that. Or, you know, that you get lost, lose yourself. In, uh, Maybe it's the fear of wanting to do nothing like but sit on a lotus pad somewhere. 
Yeah, right. End up on top of a mountain. Yeah. All your clothes on. We're going over to Lotus's pad for the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the the um, Oriental actors on your show are so good, and it's nice to see them. Most of them I remember from World War II films. Key right. Luke and uh, Philip Ahn. Isn't it Philip Ahn? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. The old uh, Kung Fu master is uh, Key Luke. Key Luke. In, Oh, and what is he wearing? Uh, contact lenses uh, with, uh, uh -huh, with a little hole milk in them or something? Or? Yeah. So you can see. Yeah, It's very eerie and very nice effect. I thought it sounded like about the worst idea for a show when I first heard about it. Do you remember when you first heard of it? Uh, that, well, I didn't hear about it. See, somebody just handed me the script, and the script was really dynamite. Yeah. So I, I had no, you know, I went, mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to be serious or anything. But... Yeah, they did it as a movie of the week first. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like such an awful idea trying to combine, uh, I suppose, the fad of... Uh, Self-defense and, and wasn't with fat until the Western. Went down. And, uh, <coughs> well, no, it wasn't. Actually, the show made it, made it a fad. But there was a. There's always been a kind of interest in Eastern things, and I thought they were really trying to rip off two cultures there or something. And yet, and it turned out to be quite a. I thought I thought it all, show. it all was timed really with the, you know, the UN thing and, and all that. And yeah. Lead in agencies over there. Huh. Um, oh, you're you're grounded in practicality. You just noticed yeah. the commercial we have coming. Yeah. Go ahead. You can say finish what you're saying. Uh, what was I saying? So you said with the UN, you felt it was time. Oh yeah, I thought it was, uh, it was timed to, you know, like like, uh, I don't know, like it was a, a, a the great cosmic uh, PR thing, you know, yeah. uh, world peace and all that. Uh, in other words, uh, I, I did feel that it was a ripoff, but I thought it was like really an important ripoff rather than a, a mere fad ripoff. Yeah, that it was a ripoff on you know something good that was coming to the world. Yeah. Do they find you a little hard to know uh, what, what to do with? Uh, I get the feeling that when you have a meeting with network executives, they come away uh, saying, uh, is he all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, well, what do you make of him, Leonard? I, uh, I thought he seemed a little strange. Um, do, you, do you get any of that? There is some distance between us, yes. <laughs> yeah. No, you look better now than in the television series. You know, we got no hair, yes, so now you look more handsome, even though the tiger by you. I congratulate you. You're very strong. You look better now. I don't care you look at me like that. You're good, and I like you. That's what I was going to say, but I couldn't find the words. 